All right, from Fawcett Publications, we've got Dennis the Menace Around the Clock, a nice uh, older piece right here. It is number 44, 1969. It has some wear and tear to it. It is square bound, so it's uh, starting to split at the seams there. You got that corner on the top right and of course as we shine the light on it you can see a little bit of handling wear some creases and uh bends and wrinkles etc we're going to show you the back side as well it's got more of the same but overall a nice uh, readable copy so i'll show you a couple of the interior pages just so you can get an idea of it and that's going to do it for that one. We're moving on to the Wilkin Boy, that Wilkin Boy. <clears throat> and that is from 1978, number 43, of course, from Archie Comics. It's part of the Archie uh, world. We'll show you the light as it shines on every portion of this, so you can really get an idea. As the light shines back, you'll be able to see all those nooks and crannies, crevices, creases, folds, etc., a little bit of wear at the top there. We're going to show you down near the bottom. Uh, a little bit of wear here and there, but overall a good piece. If you're looking to fill some holes in your collection, this is obviously a great way to be able to do that. <clears throat> we'll show you the interiors. Nice white pieces right there. As we move right along to Swing with Scooter. This is number 15 from 1968. This is DC Comics in the style obviously of archie and you can see some wear and tear on that one we'll flip it over we'll see the back looking pretty good a nice serviceable copy right here and i want to show you uh the insides the internals here where you can see uh, an area that doesn't have a whole lot of ink. That really gives you an idea of the uh, the color of the pages. We've got Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, from Archie. Yeah, not great on that spine there, but we've seen better. This is number six. But again, if it's one that if you're looking to put it into your collection, fill some holes. It's barely hanging on there. Eh, I'm not going to tug too tightly on it because we don't want to remove it, but be very extra careful and aware of that. We'll show you the back cover here. We'll shine the light on it. It's got some discoloration, some wear, but the colors on it are really, really nice and bright. And you can see a couple of the interior pages, just so you get an idea of the quality and condition of the pages and the artwork. Moving on to some Archie Giant series. This is number 161. These Giant series often ended up square bound. So you can see a little bit of the splitting there. We don't have the staple issues that we might have on some of these older comic books. This one's from 1968. But we do have uh, some splitting. We'll show you the back. We'll do that wiggle jiggle of the back cover so you can also see a little bit the way the light shines in and around there. Now we do these in 8K. By the time they get to you, depending on the platform you're using, uh, they may have been downscaled to 1080p, but that's still plenty of high resolution photos, so, or videos rather, so you can really get in there and look around. This is number 209 from the world of Jughead, the Archie Giant series. That way you can really get in there and uh, explore. You can pause. We, we don't like to use up too much of your time in just these videos themselves, but you can go back up. Oh, I do want to point out the chunk missing there. It's unfortunate. But you can take the time at your leisure to explore the ones that you are interested in. Pause, zoom in, rewind, do whatever you need to do. Also, we do have high-resolution photos in the catalog at thebigtoyauction.com, so you can see exactly what you're going to get, including these interiors. Looking pretty nice. This is a nice readable copy as well. A good reader to fill some holes. Number 218, this is Archie's Christmas Love Inn. From Archie Giant Series number 218, again, 1974. 
as we move through the decades on this one, you can see some wear and tear, especially along the spine. We'll flip it over on the back. Looking pretty good on the back. And we'll show you a couple of the interior pages so you can get an idea of the quality and condition, both of the paper and of the artwork. We're going to move ahead a few years to 1977. Archie Giant Series number 461. You can see the issues there in and around the spine. It's got that spine roll, which is uh, made worse by the fact that it's a, a square bound like that. It's got some splits in it here, a little bit of tears to that front cover. So overall, not the best of covers, but a great reader copy to fill some holes in your collection. You can see it's starting to get raggedy on that corner, and I hope that doesn't mean that there's a loose page. We'll see as we open it up, start going through the interiors. I'll show you some of the quality and condition there. And now it appears to just be because of that spine roll on it is why that's gotten raggedy. We're moving on to the next one. 462. Archie Giant series, and this is the Betty and Veronica Spectacular. Spectacular indeed. It's, this is from 1977 and still showing very well. You saw those nice, bright, uh, bright, vibrant colors on the front. Some good shine on the back of it. We'll open it up. You can see the paper still showing pretty bright. As we show you the quality and condition of the pages. All around, not too bad. We've got 497 is our next one here from 1980, so 40 some odd years. This is a pretty good looking copy right here. Of course, you're going to see a little bit of stress uh, at the corners and the spine. But overall, not a ton of uh, wrinkles or creases or dog ears or anything like that. We've got that mark up near the top oftentimes uh, that was done by retailers to let them know when to change out to the next months. And we'll finish with some of those interiors as we head on to the last of these. This is number 516, World of Archie, 1982. And you can really see it in the artwork. It looks like it came from 1982. 40 years old, but still looking really, really great. Waiting to head on into your collection. Interiors are looking pretty good. And all around, a nice, serviceable copy right here. So you can head on over to thebigtoyauction.com where you can see this and all the other great books we've got for you this week and every week. You can leave those pre-bids right now or join us live on Auction Day, whichever way you choose to do it. We definitely look forward to seeing you at the auction.